now I can color correct it. Just now bring up the color. Lighten it. And depending on, on the quality of different videos, it, you start to mess with all these settings in here. Right. You can also do it um, uh, numerically. Mm -hmm. There's a million different things you can do with Final yeah. Cut. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a ton of different things. Um, yeah, there's there's all the different levels I could set it at. Mm -hmm. Right. And, but for today's. That should work. OC Metro. It's Friday, Pretty February well. 5th, mm -hmm. and this is your OC Metro Metro. She darkened up her, her jacket and yeah. Yeah. lightened up the background or whatever it is. And then finish. OC Metro Minute. Send your news to newsdesk at ocmetro.com. Can you just point to the different, where the audio and the video uh, oh, clips are in the, on, in the Final Cut yeah, file? Yeah, Final Cut uh, okay. timeline. So, here so we that's are. a timeline, right? Yes. Okay. So right here we have the Kaiser commercial. The blue is the video. Right. Green is the audio, um, and then and then right here, is where we have the un is the uh, imported file mm -hmm. of Tina. I'm Tina Bergada, editor. Right. Get you Same more thing. In. Yeah. So then we got the video here and the audio gotcha. down below. So you have two audio. You have two. You have stereo, right? You've got the yes, two different yes. audio tracks there two and one video ones. tracks. So three tracks total. Yeah. And one of the the two tracks from the audio came, one came from the lavalier wireless mic, right? Yeah, I guess. And then what was the other, and the, the other, other one, sound come from? The other sound is from the exactly. imported video from yeah, the Kaiser yeah. commercial, the Kaiser commercial, which is also set. Exactly. In a so you always have a matching video with a, a matching video clip with, with a matching audio. Yeah. At least one audio. Yeah. And you yeah. may have had a second audio with, if you had another interviewer there, right? You'd have a second audio. Um, actually, it, it would be the be, same one. They'd it would, be, it yeah, it'd be stereo. They'd be merged in the same one. Well, it would be um, two tracks. Two tracks. So it it would, said another it, track. That's what I mean. You have a third track, right? No, it actually would still be the two tracks. Oh, okay. And one person would be captured on, on the first track, and then the second person would be on this track. Okay. Gotcha. So, That's, yeah, um, I wasn't saying that. But was right now, it's, it's currently in stereo from when she spoke right. uh, in, into the mic. Right. Okay, gotcha. Metro. It's Friday, February 5th. And then so from there, I'll take it, export it. So now you're exporting the file. You're done editing, yeah. yes, right? Done and now editing. you're going to digitize it to the internet, right? For, for the internet. For settings. internet upload to make MPEG-4 yes. conversion. So right now it was in a, in a different format, right? It was from the raw footage from the tape yes. was in a certain format. Yes. And now you have to convert it to, say, MPEG-4. Yeah, to an MPEG-4. Which does some kind of compression and right for the internet, yeah, right? Yeah, for the internet and, and for our video player. Your video player. So do you yeah. lose any quality when you do yes, this compression? You okay. Yes, you do. So so how do you maximize the quality without uh, um, some set settings? It's just a setting that uh, over time we've acquired, you know, through trial and error. Right. We were able to find a setting that was able, we were able to, uh, so. Uh, be satisfied with. So you so you pick the video format of H, two sixty four. Yeah. You've got a data rate of eighty eight hundred. Yes. Image size of six forty by four eighty VGA. Yes. Frame rate of thirty. Yes. And you have key frame every twenty four frames a second. Right. That's a typical. Yeah. That's typical. And you're on the video tab of the MPEG four export settings. And then. And now you go to the audio audio tab. And I save it at. Data rate at 48. 48 kbps. Okay, yeah. that's your data rate that you're gonna. That that's that's the rate it, it reads the. Uh, yeah, that's the, the streaming the streaming video. That that rate. Read. Right. This. Exactly. And then what quality you put better? You put as far as the yeah, quality better, goes. Yeah, better. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. That's okay. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm emphasizing this piece because this is the critical piece yeah. where people get either the files are too big, yeah. right? Yeah. In the internet, big, it, won't, it just it won't, load. It won't yes. load, or the quality, you lose tons of quality, right, yeah. because of the wrong compression. Yeah, if you go to the wrong compression, right. you won't, right. yeah. So I work. struggle with this myself. <laughs> cool. And then so now this takes a little while. Yeah, it takes about conversion. a couple of minutes. Right. And that's still saving it to your hard drive, right? Yes, it's still saving it to my hard drive. 
Yeah, do you use a, do you have a big machine, but if you were using just a laptop, you usually have like an external drive, right? Yeah, that you probably, use. yeah on a laptop, and it, yeah, and an external can, drive. Because you run out of space quickly with those big FCP files. Yes. Not necessarily the FCP file, it's the scratch, more the video. The scratch yeah, stuff, right? Yeah. The scratch files, yeah, that's right. And this is the back end of our uh, properties here, our web properties. Okay. Actually, that's the uh, company that we use their video player. Oh, okay. So we're going to upload it to their player. First. Yeah, that's nice to, yeah. So when you selected your video player, that's really, really, really a, a nice feature. Yeah. So you you did you did you spend time so much time selecting your video player and how did you find out about that? Um, Golden State Communications that does our uh, our website that did our website design uh, had recommended Bright Cove and we used okay. Bright Cove for the first year and a half. Okay. But we found that there were some limitations and we needed some other features and so um, our web director Jeff Kitchen made the decision to move to LightVid, which is um, virtually half I understand the cost on a monthly basis. And allows us to do some more customized. Okay, so it's a web it's a web based tool and it's a, it's a subscription based tool. So gotcha. You, you upload it there, it's processed there, and then it, we have their video player installed on our site. So okay. it sort of goes up and back down, I guess. Is right. The okay. And what's the name of that uh, vendor again? Lightvid. Lightvid. Okay. Very good. That's good to know. And what do you pay a month for that? If you don't mind saying. Or or does it depend on the, how much? I think it depends on a lot of factors, oh, okay. I think usage and... and um, What's a range? I mean, like a, kind of I would range. say around 500. Per month, yeah. okay, okay. And I believe that covers all of our web properties, all of our brands. Oh, okay, for, you mean for like an, as an ISP, you mean like the servers and everything? Right, or so we've got... Not just, the, not just the video well, player, but... Uh, not just for a but oh. any, we can use it on OC Family. Okay, I oh, gotcha, oh, gotcha. Right. Oh, gotcha. You have a number of... Uh, or, I'm sorry, brands. media yeah. brands. Right. Gotcha. And there's your, tr there's your converted file, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Very good. Grab the MP4 file. So you didn't have to do much editing at all. It was very quick. Yeah, we've gotten it down to... When we go out on location, like Steve did an interview with, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Dan Young at the Irvine Company, and he was on location at the Woodbury opening. Hmm. And so that's the point where Albert... This is the point where Albert would edit in some of that footage over sure. playing audio sometimes. Right, or he's right. Right. And that right. particular like a B-roll kind of thing. And that particular uh, file that I created uh, this past Saturday took about an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. So it's much different than the, how many right. minutes it is. So would you do like in this case she, when when she was giving the news, could you could do you throw in some like some shots of the field and that kind of thing right as you go that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like just, you know, static images, too. Yeah, static images, like your PowerPoint, well. you know, just like you do with the PowerPoint, mm -hmm. drop them in. And, and you can, and you can import those in easily into the into the final cut, mean, just like a file import, right, basically. Yeah. There you go. So what I'm saving here is a JPEG file. It's yeah, a JPEG file. Image yeah, there you go. So that I can import. Mm-hmm. And how much field uh, do you, how often do you go out in the field and? Maybe a couple times a month. Right? Okay, and okay. That's primarily a, a function of resources. Right, right. You know, right. does so much more than just this. Right, exactly, and, uh, right. You know, it's a timing issue. Sure, and that's what, that's what's, issue. so a couple times a month is realistic for, for you folks and, and, yeah. and, but you, but you, do you think it would improve your, how much do you think it would improve your uh, subscription you know, by having just the, the talking head, if you will, news right. versus ha having the, you know, how much, if you looked at the, the, the web analytics on viewership of well, the different people types. People want to see themselves. So mm -hmm. there's no question that if right. you have, uh, you know, you're interviewing an executive somewhere. Uh, sure. He's, the, from the whole viral strategy is that executive yeah. is more than likely going to post it on their Facebook and send it out to their constituency. Very good. So, yeah, there's, it, the traffic would definitely be impacted. Right, and, right. But then you have to weigh that against your workload that you've got, right? This is an extra extracurriculum kind of activity in right. some ways, right, that you're doing. Well, you think <laughs> that, you know, a couple of years ago, all we did was print, and we had twice as many people employed. Oh. And now we're doing web, we're doing video, we're doing online radio, we're doing digital e-newsletters, we're doing, you know, more events than we've ever done before. And oh. we're doing that with literally just almost half of the staff that we use, slightly more than half of the staff that we used to have. Okay. So we are running... You know, warp speed. <laughs> right there, you go. So you That's you can choose what what you implement from a content strategy. 
you know, to maximize your traffic and, right. and make the best 